and today we're going to be recreating the look from Grimes and Iyer's newest music video, Violence. With its features of glittery skin and strong pink lines, it's very much like the song itself. Ethereal yet badass. So let's jump into it. I'm going to start, I have a wig, so I'm going to start with uh, putting wig tapes and my hairnet on. This makeup look was done by a woman named Natasha Severino and she's actually Australian, which is really cool. It's always awesome to see Australians go to America and kind of kill it over there. And now obviously Grimes, I don't think is wearing a wig, but I have black hair and I wanted to have little pixie peroxide hair. I think the main pointers of this look are there's this glittery skin, which took me like, a little bit of looking at to kind of realize how she's done this um, and I still like don't obviously know like the real way that this was done. This look is really reflective it also has the glitter but there's also like natural shine points on the high points of her cheeks. Um, the lighting in this it's really difficult to like see what this makeup look looks like because there's a purple gel um, that's kind of filling in everything uh, and then now going in with my MAC strobe cream. This is just like the rose gold one because I want a really nice dewy kind of base underneath. Um, so in the video, Grimes is wearing a gorgeous Iris Van Herpen. But I kind of wished when I was watching the video, I kind of wished that she had moved in that Irish dress because when you stand up and when you move around, they are like literal pieces of art. For skin, I'm using, I'm almost out of it. <laughs> my Born This Way Too Faced foundation. Uh, the foundation in the video looks very, very sheer. So I am kind of not abiding by that by using Too Faced because this is quite a thick um, full coverage uh, foundation. But I'm in different lighting and I'm in a different setup. So I need something that's a little bit more coverage to cover up all the sins that I'll probably be making in this video but I would say uh, it looks very fresh and very light so I would say it's probably a light coverage foundation um, or maybe even like concealer that's just been dotted I'm imagining that Grimes has beautiful skin I know that's probably a really weird thing to say there doesn't seem to be a huge amount of contouring going on I feel like if anything it's like bronzing just very lightly on the cheeks to give a tiny bit of definition, but I really don't think that there's like a huge amount of like deep chiseling and contouring going on here. I'm just using my Models Prefer um, contour palette, but I'm dipping very lightly into the shades and I'm just gonna put it here and here. Something that's really interesting about video work is a lot of the time, you do really need to contour in some small way, regardless of um, what that actually looks like. You do need to add some planes because a lot of studio lighting can make you look very flat and can make you look kind of a little bit um, washed out. So I always like to just very lightly <laughs> contour at the very least the cheekbones and maybe the forehead. Buff that out so that there's no harsh lines or anything like that. Grimes has beautiful eyebrows. She has gorgeous, they're quite dark for her face, but they're also very feathery and light. So I'm just going in with my Essence Make Me Brow and I'm just gonna fluff up my natural brows because I also have quite thick, dark eyebrows. From what I can tell, it's a pretty like natural lid space and then there seems to be um, some pink in the crease and then on the lower lash line there's more of that pink and then we have these like war stripes coming down. So I'm going to be using the 35W palette, putting that all in the crease there. This look is deceptive because when you kind of look at it and on first watch you're like, oh fresh skin, you know, kind of a cool eye. And then the more you watch it, the more you're like, what? Uh, hang on, uh, what was that? She seems to have a little bit of shimmer on the lid, so I'm gonna 
First, I'm gonna go in with just a packing brush. I love the video um, for violence. I think it's like, I love the choreography that they do. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, very, there's something very hypnotic about Grimes. A lot of her music for me is like beautiful. I kind of feel like I'm being sung to by some like fantasy creature whenever I listen to it. It's very, very uh, ethereal is probably the best word. And this music video is great. I love, obviously, as I said, I love the costuming. Uh, the Iris Van Herpen is beautiful. Iris Van Herpen is completely a brand that I would see Grimes just really working very well with. The ideas of science, um, science and art kind of forming to create this beautiful moving dress is exactly what I can imagine Grimes just like living for. a soft kind of pink wash of color so the pink is quite pronounced under her eye whereas on top of it it's a lot softer so we're just gonna keep packing and then it looks like there's a very small amount of liner on the top so the lines are pretty central to her face I always hate doing lines because I have big eye bags so They're a little bit longer. I've been crying for, for longer. With my Illumasca, this is in the shade Bayer. This is a really beautiful um, nude matte. Still don't think that this is pinky enough because in the video it is it does have quite a pink tinge to it. So I'm using the Revlon lipstick in the shade Everything's Rosy. And now we are getting into the skin. This is the model's preferred glow drops in the shade Spectra. There's not a huge amount of um, like peaches or pinks or anything like that. The pink is really just in the eye. And then we get into what was for me the most challenging part of this, which was what the f is used on her skin to give it that glitter. Now I had two options. The first thing that I thought to use was this ColourPop Glitterly Obsessed. The only thing I don't like about this is that the texture is really gritty and this doesn't look gritty, it looks very soft. So I thought I would use, this is a Lush Shimmer Bar and it's oil based. That's it for the skin, that's what that looks like. Um, I'm obviously be able to show you a bit better. Um, when I turn the lighting off, so we have the wig. It's not sticking 100% down here. Boom. Now we've got some grimesy ass fingers. All right, I'll see you guys at the reveal.